10th is Canada's Walk of Fame, and we're back with more Howie Mandel. Well, more me. Now there's more me. Welcome back to Canada's Walk of Fame. Our next inductee was not only the first Canadian woman in space, but has also been globally recognized for her contributions as a physician. Scientific researcher, photographer, author, and environmentalist. A true patriot. She even brought along the national anthem on her mission to space. Best known for her eight days in space, but it has been her lifelong quest for excellence that has earned her a rightful place in Canada's Walk of Fame. Here's a glimpse into the amazing life of Dr. Roberta Bonder. Hi, good evening. You know, I take such pride in this celebration. Canada's Walk of Fame is very close to my heart. And how awesome is it that we're celebrating our greats on evenings such as this and in such memorable ways. And what a pleasure it is to welcome a Canadian giant, the truly amazing Roberta Bonder, into Canada's Walk of Fame. How's that for inspiring? Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery. In 1992, as the first neurologist and the first Canadian woman in space, Dr. Roberta Bonder made history. And when Roberta says that Canada is the most beautiful country on Earth, she can claim this from a perspective that is truly unique. Canada started becoming a new place for me. It finally hit home that this is the best situated country in the world. Even if we have winter, winter means we have fresh water. I could be at the top of Lake Winnipeg and look across to Lake Superior, my hometown of Sault Ste. Marie. And it was like being at the Olympics every time I flew across the country, and especially when I listened to the National Anthem. understand that you caught a glimpse of Canada during your mission. Let me tell you, it's exceptionally exciting uh, from space. Every mile of this beautiful country. Growing up in Sault Ste. Marie, Roberta's curiosity, love of adventure, and photography filled her with dreams that were to take her out of this world. I have always, since I've been a little girl, been really steeped in the tradition of sharing information and knowledge. My mother was a teacher. She always instilled the love of learning. The guidance counselor told me that he would like to advise Roberta not to go into the maths or the science. So I told him, if Roberta wants to, to do this, I think we should give her a try. With boundless determination, for 18 years, Roberta set her sights on what many said was impossible. Her degrees in zoology, biology, medicine, and most importantly, neurology, gave her the edge. Well, how about it, guys? Olympics next. Competing against thousands to enter the Canadian astronaut program, she was ultimately selected by NASA, followed by eight more years of exhaustive training to arrive at being chosen as the one. When she got her call that she had been selected as an astronaut, and of course, Bedlam. At that point, I shouted in the telephone, and I'm sure it deafened the man. <laughs> Physically, we can prepare very well for space flight, but once we get up there, it's a whole new ball game. Roberta circled the globe at 25 times the speed of sound, just under 8 kilometers a second, for 8 days, 1 hour, and 44 minutes. We circle the Earth at 300 kilometers above the Earth about every 90 minutes, which means we get a sunrise or a sunset every 45 minutes. Fascinating. After touchdown, she promised herself she'd never lose her sense of awe and her exuberance. To Canadians, she became not only a hero, but also a leader. It's like a really good role model cool. for us, and it showed us, you know, we can do this. It's like an inspiration to everyone. For the next 10 years, Dr. Bonder headed up the medical research team at NASA. From the realities of what she saw in space, she's a compelling advocate of the environment. In order to be able to keep that balance for all of us, we really have to understand our activities as a human life form and how it really affects or impacts other life forms on this planet. From the time she was eight, she and the camera have been inseparable. Her photographic essay books share her stunningly beautiful impressions of our planet. I found photography when I was growing up a way for me to share with someone else what I was seeing. Roberta Bonder has always seen it as her mission to be a mentor who leads with enthusiasm, optimism, and hope. Just last month, she was in Kenya, 
encouraging students to go on to university. A sense of awe to me means having that curiosity still. I want to be wowed. I want to say, gosh, I didn't know that. Hello, Roberta. I am so thrilled about your induction into Canada's Walk of Fame. You are a true trailblazer, and you've been so important for people like me and for our country. And I am extremely proud to count myself as your friend and your colleague. Bravo, Roberta. Toutes mes félicitations. Dr. Roberta Bonder, welcome to Canada's Walk of Fame. learned a lot about gravity tonight. Whoops, excuse me. Uh, that was pretty emotional for me, seeing my mom and my sister. And I know that all that film of me as a little kid, I'll have to have a little chat with my sister, who I'm sure is watching this now. We're very blessed in Canada, and we're very, very privileged to have our own constellation of stars, ones that we can touch and reach. And I must say that includes Howie, who just gave me a kiss on my cheek. Amazing. <laughs> It's a, a very unique, it is a unique opportunity to thank my country and my fellow Canadians for this wonderful recognition. I'd like to thank the Canada's Walk of Fame, Peter Simalius, Bruce Rothney, the Board of Directors, the donors, the supporters, the volunteers. This is an incredible evening, incredible event. This is actually part of our Canadian heritage. Canada's Walk of Fame is such a way of celebrating excellence and ongoing energy in our country. We learn from people who have gone before us, and it doesn't matter if it's in the arts or the science. I like to think of the star that I have as having the points on it that will point really in a direction. Maybe it's space, maybe it's medicine, maybe photography, maybe science. But some place where people will find an interest for themselves by looking at what other people have done. Because with recognition comes inspiration. You recognize us, we hope to inspire others. And it will be this way throughout history. And I just hope that all of you have an opportunity to go down the Walk of Fame and see our history as it unfolds for you. I would really like to thank my mother and my father, Mildred and Ed, who are also among the stars. And my sister, Barbara. I'm sorry. I'm such a tough kid. Why am I doing this? I'll just end with this. It reminds me of an experiment I did in space when I heard my mother's voice when I was up there. And I heard it, and the tears were coming to my eyes like this. I thought, oh, this is a good experiment. I wonder what happens with tears when you go like this. And there's, I see them go little balls. But I want to thank you all very much. <laughs> there are lots of great men down here and great women. Thank you very much for including me in Canada's Walk of Fame. And with uh, the foundation, I hope to continue on education uh, for all the world. And I ain't done yet. Thank you. Love you, Canada. How beautiful is that? Makes you proud, huh? I got to tell you that hosting this show was very, very important to me. It really was. And I wanted to do my best, and I wanted to get the right outfits for tonight so I would look my best and feel right. And I put together a little video of me shopping in L.A. for the perfect look for this event. Watch this. So here I am in uh, Mike's uh, tuck shop, getting ready. Is it? And that must be Mike. Mike, is that you? That's me, Mike. And you are? Louis. I thought I knew you. You didn't, you didn't <laughs> realize God. it was me? No, really. Well, I'm hosting. They, they have me hosting the Canada's Walk of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't recognize me. Oh, we have to try the shoes. Why don't I start with shoes, too? We can both look at shoes. Yeah. Let's head over to the pigeon. There's the pigeon. Yeah. 
there's the pigeon and there's the shoes that's why i come to you mike it's got to say Canadian. Canada. Yeah, that's Canada. Red and white. Red and white. Yeah. Red and white. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. No problem. No problem. That's the tie. That's red. Yeah. Red. Yeah. Yeah. And, and white. White. And red. And red. And white. And white. And red. Red. And white. White. And red. Red. White. White. Yeah. And Blue? No blue. No blue. No blue. No blue. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. So I decided to go with the white and red. I didn't go with the tie. I thought that was too much. So I just stuck with the, uh, the red jacket and the pigeon. Because I didn't want to over-accessorize. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's trained. Don't worry. It's not, it's not trouble. See? It's trained. Okay. And uh, we'll be back with more right after this. Stay right where you are. Come on, buddy. Keep it locked for an intimate performance from Justin Bieber. And when we come back, Daniel Nestor takes his rightful place on Canada's Walk of Fame.